Selfies. That's <laughs> okay. Hey, you got That's a pretty right. face. It's documented. Oh my gosh. I like don't even know what to say. It is so unbelievably light. Isn't that crazy? Poor Andrew. Oh, are you happy? <sighs> <sighs> I like don't even know what to say. <laughs> That's awesome. I like can't even put into words like what I feel right now. Your first custom, yeah? I feel like I'm gonna cry. What's up y'all, welcome back. Just a quick announcement before we get into today's video, I'm really excited because I teamed up with Ho Stevie and we are giving away three brand new wetsuits. These wetsuits are absolutely amazing. They are super stretchy, warm, comfortable. They're valued at 200 US dollars and you guys have seen me wear them all the time in my videos so you know it's a product that I can stand behind. And all you gotta do to enter is make sure that you are subscribed to this channel, The Surfer Snook, as as well as host Stevie, make sure you like this video and comment down below tagging host Stevie to enter yourself into the drawing, which we will reveal the winner on March 17th. But as you guys can see from the social media platforms up here, make sure you head over to Instagram and TikTok as well. We'll be announcing winners there on March 17th for Instagram and TikTok. So three separate winners. So make sure you enter on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok to triple your chances to win a host Stevie wetsuit. Now let's get back to our regular scheduled program. What is up Vibe Nation? Good morning, welcome back. I am stoked. It's just about 9 a.m. here on the West Coast and we are waiting. Miley's in the car, we cruise down separately. I'm on the bike and it is chilly we've had rain and wind the last few days but we finally got some surf out here it's looking like it's in that three to five foot range chris and keone are on their way down from huntington beach you guys know our surfboard shaper Carroza, you saw the video, they made us that awesome board. Well, it's been ready, but we've had a lot of wind, a lot of rain, and we wanted to make sure that we had at least some surf so that we could take it out. So they should be here shortly. Conditions still look a little jumbled from the wind we've had the last few days. I hope wherever you guys are in the world, you're having a fantastic day. Thank you everybody for tuning in. If you're new to the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We put out new videos every Friday, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And if you like this video, you can give us a little thumbs up and drop a comment down below. I love responding to comments. Slowly starting to warm up as we finally have the sun coming up over the cliffs. We had a freeze warning this morning here in North County, San Diego. So we wanted to let the tide kind of drop a bit, the temps drop a bit, and let the boys head up the five and get through that traffic. Excited. I'm stoked, I'm stoked, dude. Stoked, stoked. So stoked. How's you haven't looking? been in the water in a while? It's been about like two, two and a half, three weeks. Oh my gosh. my car actually broke down and I got it back like in time, like three days it's before. Been it's been. The whole time anyway. Yeah, it was meant to be. So I'm excited. On the way here, the beaches look super, super clean. Yeah. Compared to, it's not as packed as Huntington, so like. No, it's empty out here. There's like one person out right now. Okay, so we're not gonna be battling. It's cleanish. It's. I mean, we've had like some pretty bad wind, so it okay. still has that like jumble. You want to go look at it? Yeah. Go ahead it's got like a little jumbledness to it, but there's still a little bit of size. How cold is the water? Cold. Freezing. How cold is it up there? I mean, it's not that bad. I go on rainy days, and it's like still manageable but Chris was saying like you should wear a hood and I was like I'm not wearing a hood but yeah. I've been wearing booties lately I don't, I don't like wearing gloves I don't really like wearing booties either it just so happened I was like you just made one and as soon as I showed her the picture she was like I want that one and another dude asked for the same thing so we're oh, gonna we have to talk to more. Chris about a surfer snook model I know that's <laughs> I was thinking we should have put your like your logo or your. Uh... We're working on how we have to find a way to like morph that into something just a little bit different and a little bit more fun. Yeah. I haven't been on 
uh, regular hardboard all, like in 2023 at all. 34 liters, dude. I'm dropping what? six liters immediately. I'm going from 40 liters to 34. I think you'll be good. It's uh, You're going to feel how reactive it is on your feet, though. Every turn is a lot. You, you cut a lot faster. I believe it. So maybe the first two might be a little bit of a stumble, but once yeah. you get the feel of it, you'll be fine. I normally go right here, and it and my normally the paddle out to that peak is, is easy. Okay. She's seen it. When I walk down here and try and do the paddle straight to the sucks. peak, it sucks. Even if the tide's on it and you have the right board where you can get through those back sections, Yeah. I mean, I get some pretty long rides here. It's got a pump. Oh my gosh. I like don't even know what to say. This looks great. This is beautiful. Yeah, man. It is so unbelievably light. Is that crazy? For Andrew, 6021, 2.5, 33.9 liters. Shaped by Chris Perota. Jesus loves you. He does. Oh my gosh, this is such a vibe. Yeah. Oh, are you happy? <sighs> I like don't even know what to say. That's awesome. I've never had a brand new, like not off the rack board. This is, it's, I like can't even put into words like what I feel right now. That's your, this it's is, your, this, it's your first custom, yeah? yeah? I feel like I'm gonna cry. This is- It's gorgeous. Like, wow. Yeah, it's perfect. Wow.
different, fun, stressed because I was worried about you and the time? Um, it's really hard to see you out there. I probably filmed Keone the whole time going out. All right, y'all, we just came in real quick. I had to catch my breath. I First off, huge shout out to Chris Carroza. This board is absolutely amazing. I'm so blessed and grateful to be part of the team. And it's gonna take a little bit of time to get dialed in. Um, my host EV board is 41 liters and my Cat Surf 60 is 40 liters. This is 34 liters. So I've shaved off about six or seven liters depending on the board, which if you're not familiar with what liters represent, it's basically like the amount of buoyancy and float in the board. So it's not really the length of the board, it's more the volume of your board that gives you your float. So a lot to get used to. Um, very dynamic, a little, very pivoty on the tail. Um, I'm really glad I got that tail pad slapped on there. Chris and Keone are still out there. I'm probably gonna try and get back out and get a few more, unfortunately. Thankful for Miley to come before she had to go to work. She's going in late today so that she can film a little bit with us. So she's gonna take off. We're gonna get some of this gear packed up and I'm gonna head back in the water and get some more waves with Chris and Keone. Oh, let's talk about, honestly, how frustrating that surf was. Not the ideal conditions that sometimes you wanna take a brand new board out and especially, um, you know, for your first custom board, you're wanting things to be absolutely perfect in every possible way. That's not always the vibe. Um, so I did struggle out there. It's definitely, a, you know, the water was all over the place. We've had a uh, like string of what seems like 10 winter storms the month of February. We're now in March and we're finally in that meteorological spring and heading towards real spring. And that comes with its own problems in the surf community here in California, but with that being said, these storms have been coming over and over and over. It's been wind and rain and wind and rain. And I told you all last week, we are getting back on the vibe for the Friday vlogs. A lot of people have reached out to me and honestly, I wanted to do it, Miley wanted to do it. So it was just time to get back to the way things were. And we did it and I announced it and then more weather, more rain came, more wind. And now it's, you know, right before vlog time and we're filming and trying to cram things in. Um, Keone and Chris came down from Huntington. They were on a time crunch. Chris runs a surfboard brand, so he has to work. Miley has a full-time job. She has to work. So, you know, that we got the footage we got. Um, and there'll be a lot more time over the next few weeks to really get this board dialed in. I'm really, really excited about it. It felt really good under my feet on that one good wave that I got. It could have been a better wave. But honestly, if the conditions were this tough and I had this okay of a time for my first time on that board, uh, it's only gonna get better. Um, Chris had mentioned that every session I have, I should notice a lot of improvement. And that's the one thing I noticed with the soft top short boards is that the first session on them, a lot of times is absolutely amazing. And you think it's only up from here and they kind of plateau, they kind of peak out. And that's not really the vibe if you're wanting to keep progressing with your surfing. So I do want to say another huge thanks. Uh, first off to Keone for linking us all together initially and to Chris for shaping such an awesome board. Uh, I feel so lucky and blessed. And I just want to say thank you again. If you are, any of you out there are interested in a custom shortboard from Chris at Carosa Surfboards, uh, links below in the description for his Instagram. He prefers a DM on there. That's the easiest way to reach up with him. Uh, make sure if you do, make let him know that I sent you guys over to him. Um, and yeah, we're going to set you all free. I want you to get out and get into an adventure. We will be back next week. I'm not going to tell you what we are getting into, but it is a surprise. So make sure you tune in next Friday, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're back on track. Thank you all for tuning in. I know this was kind of a funny vlog. I thought I would have more time with the board out in the water, but it is what it is, and I want to stick on schedule. So I'm getting this out to you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you all here next week. But until then, you all know the deal. Click here to subscribe and right here to watch more videos. And I'll catch you all in the next vibe.